After surprising with its strength for the most of the year, cracks might be starting to appear in the Australian dollar. And now, with year-end in sight, we return to the forecast of our expert panel to discover just who was on the money in 2014. Well, it's been an interesting year for the currency. We began at 88 cents, and, um, and I thought that's too high, and therefore forecast, more or less with my fingers crossed, that it would come down to a, to a fairer level, if you like, of around about 82 cents. First thing that happened after I made that forecast was that it went up to 94. I stuck to my guns to some extent, and it has come back from that, but at, at its current level, it's still a bit too high. I think we will get to 82 cents, but it's clearly not going to be this year. This year we thought the Aussie dollar would finish this year at 87 US cents. We think it will come just under that at the end of this year. It's the same sort of factors that are driving the Aussie dollar weaker and they include a weaker commodity prices and weaker terms of trade. But the US dollar is a little bit stronger than what we had anticipated at the start of this year. In January we predicted the Aussie dollar to sit around the 86 US cent mark. Um, that prediction has pretty much been spot on as we anticipated that commodity prices and the slow of China's demand for our resources will force our dollar down to its current position. We also predicted the US dollar to improve and the RBA to keep rates down, which is why we saw the dollar falling to the 86 US cent mark. At the start of the year, I predicted the Aussie dollar would be 80 cents, uh, about now. Um, it's significantly higher than that. Uh, the main reason for my prediction was that I thought that uh, commodities would decline, commodity prices would decline, and in fact that happened, and in, in fact, if anything, they fell even further than I expected. Um, at the same time, the dollar hasn't really um, captured that change, it's, and, and I think uh, the main reason for that is that Australia's interest rates are high relative to the rest of the world, and so the carry trade is proving to be very stubborn. Foreign investors are still um, looking to invest in Australian assets with higher yield. So there's the dollar dartboard from our expert panel. How did a professional crystal ball gazer call it? At the start of the year, I did feel that the dollar would drop, and it has. I also felt that uh, America would raise their interest rates sooner, but the pressure is on them to do exactly that now. Um, yeah, and the pressure of the mining that it's had on our economy, look, I still do feel that the dollar will drop. Uh, it just hasn't happened yet. The students should have stuck to their guns. They had the most accurate fix on the currency at the start of the year, but BT Group's Chris Caton was closest with his mid-year forecast. Tomorrow, we'll see how they fared on interest rates.